Hey friends, welcome in. Um, it's been a while since I've last uploaded, I know, okay? I'm still here, I'm not dead, but uh, it's been one hell of a month because I've been juggling a, a lot of work and personal life. Uh, yeah, so with that being said, let's just start uh, talking about what we're gonna do in this video. Uh, today, I'll be building my new secondary PC, and this is gonna be a mini ITX open air case using the new B550 mother uh, motherboard that just launched recently. Okay, and this is actually going to be a two part upload and this is going to be the part one where I will talk about the individual parts. Um, uh, what else? Individual parts, the build process, and as well as talking about the purpose of this build. Part two is going to be about the benchmarks, the testing, uh, numbers, and any other final thoughts I have on it. Okay, so part two is going to be uploaded maybe in a couple days after this video. So stay tuned for that. All right. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. If you're looking for some extra spice on your gaming desktop, Corsair's LT100 will provide the ultimate RGB lighting experience that will illuminate your setup. You can literally transform your cave into a rave all at your fingertips since the LT100 is controlled through Corsair's IQ software. They are built from an aluminum post and base with a white silicone diffuser that covers the 46 RGB LEDs within each lighting tower. The pieces are very easily assembled, powered up with an AC plug, connects to your computer via micro USB, and links up to four towers using the extension cables provided. Additionally, it also comes with a headset rest allowing you to neatly consolidate by serving more than just lighting up your setup. You can check out the links to both the LT100 starter kit and expansion kit down in the description below to learn more. So the main focus of this PC is going to be the new B550i Aorus Pro AX motherboard and the open air case motif monument by Yulbeast Designs. Here are the main reasons why I went with B550. First is because I wanted the PCIe 4.0 slot for faster Gen 4 storage when it comes to read and write speeds on SSDs, the NVMe during video editing, and work-oriented tasks. Second is because of the passive cooling without an onboard PCH fan that X570 motherboards have for a quieter experience since this is an open-air build where you can hear everything. Third is the straight out of the box support for Ryzen 3000 as well as forward support for future Ryzen 4000 if I ever decide to upgrade to it. In this build, I'm pairing the Ryzen 3900X with the 2070 Super Mini by Zotac. The 2070 Super gives me 8GB of VRAM which is just enough to make the 4K video editing process smooth when I turn on GPU acceleration on Adobe Premiere as will the 12-core CPU providing its superior multi-threading functions. As for the CPU cooler, I opted for Be Quiet's Dark Rock Slim and bought an Extra Silent Wings 3 for a dual fan push-pull setup. It's both for better cooling and a cleaner symmetrical aesthetic to what the stock cooler is able to offer. And when I say symmetrical, I'm talking about the cooler itself, not the whole PC. Other components include the 32GB of 3600MHz Trident Neos from G-Skill, Corsair's 1TB MP600 Gen 4 storage drive so I can have the fastest read and write speeds during my 4K editing workloads, and Corsair's Platinum Rated SF600 PSU. Originally, I did want to go with the gold rated one as it was cheaper, but power supplies uh, have been really difficult to obtain as of lately, so I just picked up the first one that became available at retail price instead of overpaying from some individual sellers. And lastly, I am happy to again be collaborating with solosleeving.com, who always do an amazing job when it comes to custom cables for PC building. Okay, so these cables that I got are midnight blue, um, gunmetal and uh, silver gray as these are the colors of my channel and brand. This is not the first time I've worked with them and they always produce excellent quality work. So if you guys want some personalized PSU extensions or fully customized modular cables, please visit solosleeving.com. All right, so now let's watch the build process with some sexual music.
Okay, so this is actually my first Zotac graphics card, and I was kind of hesitant to buy. To be honest, they're not really a brand that drew my interest in the past or even now, but it's not like I really have other options for a mini size GPU that isn't too long and hangs over the edge so much on this particular case. The mixed reviews on Zotac I've read online are mostly positive, but it's still not quite enough for me to consider it a top choice for me if I had other brand options. Please feel free to chime in down below if you have any experience using Zotac cards, I would love to hear your thoughts. The reasons why I'm doing the mini ITX build is, for one, I want the experience of having a smaller build, and this is going to be the first. I've seen a handful of people build with this case, and it really caught my eye, so I picked it up. Now, the Motif Monument is quite expensive, and I can say for certain it's not really for everyone, but this is why I chose it. First is that this is going to serve as an open air test bench. I've been fortunate enough to have the sponsorship and opportunities with companies to review certain PC parts. A specific example would be my recent H150i Pro XT review collaboration with Corsair. Having to tear down my one and only personal PC, take things in and out, wipe off and reapply thermal paste frequently makes things very inconvenient. And well, that's what test benches are for. But starting off with a small YouTube channel, with limited budget, you use what you have. So anyways, my workflow is about to change for the better as I will be able to test a wider variety of PC components more efficiently. Second reason is the compact portability. In the past, I've been in situations where I want to get filming and editing work done, but was forced to do other jobs and work uh, and be away from home, away from my you know editing computer, my studio home. Um, for extended periods of time. At the same time, I also couldn't afford a laptop that was strong enough to handle 4K footage either. So uh, pretty much it's basically an open air test bench that's portable and will serve multiple purposes. While building in this case, I also noticed some things when planning for a new GPU. I wanted to find a card that's color matching and also powerful enough to hang with the 3900X, handle 4K video editing, and also isn't too long where it hangs off the edge here. The Monument case also only has one PCIe uh, slot screw, so the GPU of choice would need to be a light to medium weight to mitigate sagging, which means triple fan GPUs are out of the question. My aim is also to stay with Team Green as Adobe Creative Software does favor NVIDIA CUDA cores for better performance. Cable management was really easy in this case. I've seen some other tech YouTubers build in this and had trouble with cable management and had to use zip ties and such. I didn't have to do any of that. I just routed some cables through the cutouts on the back of the case behind the motherboard and it works fine and looks cleaner. Didn't even use the cable clips that came with the case, which I would advise not to use anyways. Uh, they really do suck. The adhesives on these things are extremely weak. Uh, just toss them out right away. If the Motif Monument case is something you want to build, don't use your usual default power supply cables out of the box. They will not fit. Uh, they will not reach to the places where you want to reach. Um, what you need to do is get custom cables from companies like Solo Sleeving. As for the length of the cables, get 64 centimeters on all of them. You will get the same reach and cable management like how you see it in my build here. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. And right now, that's all I have to say uh, in this video. But stay tuned for part two that's going to be uploaded in a couple days where I will be talking about the benchmarks, the testing, um, the numbers, and any other thoughts that I have regarding it. So let me know what you guys think of this build down in the comments below after watching this video. Subscribe for more content from me and a thumbs if you liked it. As always, I will see you in the next.